You have successfully found two West End stars. Now Angeloid Bever is back to head the search for musical theatre's newest talent. And with the roles of Nancy and Oliver to fill, he faces his toughest challenge yet. Thousands auditioned. One by one, they fell. You're not Nancy. You're not Nancy. There's a Nancy in me. Tonight, the chosen few sing live to the nation for the first time. I'm here to win this competition. I have worked so hard for this. I really hope that this is my moment. And tonight, they have to deliver. Who will you pick as your Nancy? This is I'd Do Anything. Joseph, now we're back and searching for Nancy and Oliver to star in the West End. Our fans are here. Here they are. The band is ready to go. The panel is preened. And the Lord has returned to his glorious throne. There he is. We now have our 12 potential Nancys and Olivers, and they do anything to win those dream roles of a lifetime. Fantastic. Welcome to our first shiny live I'd Do Anything. Now, somewhere hidden within our Oliver's army and our bunch of Nancys. Yeah, laugh it off now. Get it out of your system. <laughs> There's a lot of this. Uh, are the next major new stars of Cameron McIntosh's forthcoming production of Oliver in the West End. But who will ultimately win the two dream roles? It's up to you at home to find the winning Nancy. And with a professional career at stake, her life, like Connie Fisher and Lee Meads before, could change forever. Now, this series, there's an extra twist. Twist. <laughs> Twelve, to be exact. Yes. Out of our dozen urchins, Andrew Cameron and the panel will choose three boys to play Oliver. Now, our Olivers will have a jolly old time. They don't have to battle for your votes. Unlike our Nancys, who will be fighting it out tooth and nail each week to stay in the running. 
Helping you review the situation are the panel of experts. Back for more, please welcome Torchwood and West End star John Barrowman. <laughs> Actress and leading lady Denise Van Outen. <laughs> and we have a very special new addition to the panel. Barry Humphreys is the only man in the world to have a CBE and a damehood. Barry's uniquely qualified to judge the Nancys. He starred in the original production of Oliver and has since played Fagan twice in the West End. And he's here to join our panel. Please welcome Leslie Fagan and mega star Barry Humphreys. Very good. Lovely to have you with us, Barry. So. Not only do we have a dame, but we also have our very own Lord, Andrew Lloyd Webber, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I miss that sweet sound. Welcome home, Andrew. Thank you. Oh, lovely to see you. It's a nice throne, too, isn't it? It is. It's nice. It's comfortable this yes. year. Yeah, it's you good. sit still. <laughs> uh, in a moment, <laughs> our first potential Nancys will be performing for your vote. Remember, Andrew will only be able to save one Nancy each week. Then, in our grand final, it's exclusively down to you and your vote to decide who gets that dream role. Now, Andrew, we've got 12 really different finalists this year. So what characteristics are you looking for in Nancy? Well, here we go, because this is going to be really difficult, because I think everybody at home is going to have a different view about who Nancy should be. And that's because what Charles Dickens wrote about was a woman who stood by her man even when people thought they were compl she was completely crazy and daft. Why? Because she loved him. And that means I think that everybody's going to have a different view of who Nancy could be, whether it's young, whether it's older, because I think everybody is going to have a feeling about who that girl is from their own personal experience. And of course, what's exciting about the competition at this stage is there's 12 girls over there, and while we found Maria and we found Joseph, we've lots of other success stories as well. Well, it's absolutely fantastic when you think about it. I mean, you know, Aoife is about to do chess for Tim Rice. Um, I got a little bit of an exclusive that I can say uh, this, this evening. I'll just keep it for a little moment. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, it, it's just extraordinary how everybody has really taken off. I mean, Ben in Hairspray, Daniel in Avenue Q, and here's a little exclusive. Our friend Seamus, you remember Seamus? Seamus with the Seamus. hair. Seamus, Seamus with the hair show my own. is yes. going to be playing, playing Che Guevara for Bill Kenwright and Evita. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Andrew. Well, in the musical of Oliver, Nancy is a tough East End girl, an accomplice of pickpocketing gang leader Fagan. Uh, she ultimately sees the error of her dodgy ways and saves poor orphan Oliver from a bungled kidnap plot. But... There isn't a happy ending for our Nancy, no. She ultimately perishes for her good deed at the hands of evil boyfriend Eric Sykes. Eric, Bill, whatever. And it's a disaster, but not as big a disaster as you picking the wrong girl to play our Cockney goddess in the West End. So let's see if our first two hopefuls have what it takes to play Nancy. Meet Jesse Buckley and Jodie Pringer. Just so not ready to get back in that fight, Ireland, yet. I am a happy person, but there's so, so much more to me than that. What's all this business about being turned down by drama schools? Is it twice? Yeah. Don't worry today. You could be Nancy. Well, I'm from a really small town in Kerry called Killarney, and which is down south of Ireland, and it's really beautiful. There's seven of us all together in the family, so it's not a quiet house by any means. She is an ordinary girl with a, with a beautiful gift. It's her dream to get up there and share that gift. <laughs> it's going to be a proud moment if it happens, you know. At the beginning of this year, I didn't even think I would get into drama school, and now to think that I could potentially fill the role of Nancy, it's just mind-blowing. I still live at home with my mum and my dad in Blackpool with an absolute montage of animals. Montage is not the right word, is it? I know, menagerie. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> if you are lonely. I've done all the cabaret circuit. I mean, I've done working men's clubs. I even sang in Strange Way Prison. I remember the very first working men's club in Manchester I ever did. And uh, they never liked me because when we did the raffle, I won first prize, which was the best tray of meat. 
I always worry about people seeing me happy all the time, but I'm going to try and put everything that I feel that Nancy needs to be into every single performance that I do. They're all hoping to win that Nisi role uh, tonight. Our final 12 girls will be performing songs they think showcase their leading lady potential. You'll be able to vote for your favourite Nancy when lines open at the end of the show after every girl has sung. So keep a pen handy. Don't vote now. It's later. All right, you get it. Now, uh, Andrew, you will be delighted to know because, of course, digital viewers, they can hit that red button and sing along with all the Nancys this evening. Why can't it be blue to go with this? I, that is annoying, I grant you. OK, uh, let's unleash the Nancy. <laughs> Let's unleash the Nancys. First up, it's Jessie Buckley. She's 18 and from County Kerry. Jessie will be belting out the Tina Turner classic, River Deep, Mountain High. Following her is Agony Ant, Jodie Bringer. The bubbly 28-year-old Blackpool lass will be taking on the ballad, Chasing Pavements. Could Jessie or Jodie be your Nancy? Start considering them now. Here's Jessie. Was a little girl, I had a rag doll, the only doll I've ever worn. Now I love you just the way I love that rag doll, but only now my love has grown. And it gets stronger in every way, and it gets deeper. Well done. 
Now, here you are. Did you ever imagine when you walked into that first audition, those all the bloods, you'd be stood here in your shiny frocks on the first week? To be honest, Graham, I can't believe I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> but, to, but being here now, like, the last thing I want to do is go back on that flight to Ireland. I love Ireland and all. <laughs> I just, I just so want this so much. Oh, I tell you what, it's so overwhelming, and I'm, I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd make it from Manchester to here. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. But I did. <laughs> All right. Well, remember, you and your votes will ultimately decide the winner. But, of course, the panel will still have plenty to say about our Nancys. Let's check in with them now. Uh, John, uh, Jesse and Jody, are they serious contenders for the crown of Nancy? What an opening to a show. Both definitely serious contenders oh. to be Nancy. Yeah. No doubt about it. Jesse, the Emerald Isle will be so proud of you. You're so young, you've got a great voice, a fantastic talent. You're like a wild Irish pony. But can you be the thoroughbred? That's what I want to see, okay? Jody, love you to death. Love the voice. So warm. And the most important thing tonight, you connected with everybody. You told a story. Thank and you. that is making a good Nancy. Thank you. You know the pressures of performing in the West End more than most people. Are they vocally strong, these girls? Could they, could they cut up the pressure? Vocally fantastic tonight, both you girls. Jessie, just the one thing I would, uh, a tip from me, be careful with your posture when you perform. You have the most fantastic stage presence and voice, but you tend to shape yourself like this and you play everything down. When you're in the West End on stage, you need to play everything out to your audience. Mm. But if you master that, then you'll be a superstar. You're fantastic. Thank you, Jodie. Yes. I just love your vocal. You just melt me. It was so heartfelt. And, you know, Nancy needs to have a lot of life experience, and I see that coming through in your performance. It was absolutely brilliant, both Thank of you. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. Uh, Barry, uh, obviously, Fagan is in your DNA. Do you see some natural-born Nancys in front of you tonight? I would hate to be Fagan on stage with either of you girls. No one <laughs> would look at me. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Seeing those performances, you feel, really, you can't go any further. We sort of... We'll That's definitive, <laughs> really. <laughs> Jesse, uh, I'm sorry uh, to say, say this. Uh, you were gorgeous. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you. <laughs> absolutely. And you had vulnerability and a touch of the gutter snipe, which I like very much. <laughs> you know, I mean it in the nicest possible way. <laughs> and Jodie Barry. And Jodie, so strong. You've got that toughness and also uh, tenderness, I think. Beautiful performance and a fine, fine actress, I think. All right, the final word. The final word to you, Andrew. Jody, could they go the distance? Jody, hi. Um, did you uh, win something called the Biggest Loser? I did. I know, um, I know, what did you lose? I lost eight and a half stone in six months. Well, then you therefore lost the entire weight of Jesse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Jesse. <laughs> First call. Jesse, you see, this is going to be the interesting thing, isn't it? Um, you're very young. Are the viewers at home going to think you're too young? I'm just going to remind the viewers at home that Nancy probably was that young. But yet, your performance was absolutely wonderful. And I think this shows what this competition is all going to be about. We've got two completely contrasting girls, both of whom absolutely could play this role. OK, well, remember. Well done. Remember, the two Nancys who received the least number of votes will face the dreaded sing-off in our results show tomorrow night when one of them will leave the competition. To vote for your favourite this evening, call 0901-12120. Then add 01 for Jesse or add 02 for Jody. Please don't vote now as the lines won't open until the end of the show. If you call now, your vote won't count and you could be charged. And that will make you madder than Helen McCartney in a divorce court. Okay? <laughs> That's very angry indeed. Uh, our next two Nancys are former Welsh soap actress and a determined redhead from Falkirk. Meet Tara Bethan and Ashley Russell. <laughs> I've loved acting in a TV soap, but nothing beats the buzz of musical theatre. The opportunity I could never have dreamt of has arrived. I had a bit of a, an unusual upbringing. My father was a wrestler, El Bandito. I would leave Tara in the dressing room with other wrestlers. She sat on the knees of giant haystacks. I don't think it ever, ever has crossed my mind to be a wrestler. <laughs> I've been playing a footballer's wife type character in a Welsh soap, and I've been living in Cardiff where I've made some ace friends, and I'm going to miss them all very much. It will be a slightly more quiet about Tara. She's the queen of partying. Should I be saying that on telly? 
I believe in work hard, play hard. And now I'm being worked harder than I've ever been worked before, but I'm absolutely loving it. I'm from Falkirk, which is in central Scotland. I graduated a year and a half ago. Since then, I've obviously been auditioning for acting jobs, but not getting anything. My grandmas have always been really supportive of me. You get the, oh, hen, we're that prude. Oh! There's no prouder grandmothers oh, than, no. than Celia and I at the moment. It's just like when she was born, you know, that feeling. To pay my rent, I've been doing small jobs. My last one was in a debt collector's office. The day before my first audition for Nancy, I got the sack. When one door closes, another one opens. I am hungry for this. To be honest, I'm absolutely starving. <laughs> Myself. Next up the blocks, it's Tara Beckham. This wrestler's daughter from Real will be singing Katie Dunstall's Suddenly I See. But will you ultimately see her as Nancy? Following Tara is Scotland's Ashley Russell. Her mom Jane has come all the way from Dubai to watch her sing Black Velvet. Could Tara or Ashley be your Nancy? It's your call. Here's Tara. Is a map of the world, it's a map of the world. You can see she's a beautiful girl, she's a beautiful girl. And everything around her is a silver pool of light. The people who surround her feel the benefit of it. She makes you calm, she holds you captivated in her heart. Suddenly, I see ya. This is what.
Uh, now, Nancy, obviously she's a brash, tough, street-fighting girl. If it came to a sort of Dickensian brawl situation, OK, who do you think of you would come out on top? Who'd win? Well, as you've seen, I'm a wrestler's daughter, so if I was to lose, my dad would probably put me in a monkey grip. So <laughs> I've got to say I'm going to win. <laughs> I might put money on you, I don't know. Have you never seen Braveheart? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give her a run for her money, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, panel, I should warn you, before you comment on these performances, El Bandito is in the audience, all right? <laughs> Uh, I'll start with you, Denise. Obviously, this year, it's not just singing, it is really about the acting. So, Tara and Ashley, did they connect with their songs, did you think? Yes, you both did. Um, the only thing I will say is, obviously, because it's all exciting here in the studio, I think both of you, you need to just sit back on it a little bit, because maybe you're going a bit, for it, a bit too much, a bit crazy. Tara, I love watching you perform. You move so well, everything's so finished and very placed, very polished. I don't know if it's just a little bit too polished. You need to remember the rawness of the character of Nancy. And Ashley, a fantastic personality, and they all loved you here, but you do, you have to sit back on it a bit, because you have right. a tendency to go a little bit too jazz hands. Right. So that's my only criticism. But, but great performances from both of you. But remember but, the character and the heart of Nancy, because she's real. Right. Barry, were you convinced that either Tara or Ashley could be Nancy? Yes, I was. Tara, very modern, though. I, it's hard to see you in the 19th century. Uh, but well, she's such a good actress, you could probably play a, a Stone Age girl very well. <laughs> Thank you. Ashley, very passionate, very engaging performance, I thought. Uh, what about you, John? Are the leading lady standards? I think both of them are definitely leading lady standard. I think they've seen a different performance than I have. Look, you know, Tara, legs like that, you could play anything in any period, <laughs> let me tell you. And a figure like that, Ashley, you're the same girl. What I would say to both of you is rough it up a little bit. Yeah. It's a bit too attitude yeah. If I were to say to you, Tara, bring some of the valley girl into it, you know, the, the girls in the valley, sure. and you get a, a glass Swedish less full cut. Me bother you, don't you worry about that. Rough it up a little bit. Oh, it's incredible. Now, uh, Andrew, yes. uh, talk to us. Uh, could, could you see either of them playing the part in the West End? Well, I can, but I'm with John about the roughing up. I think that you really have to do that. And, do you know, this is the funny thing for me. I'm under a lot of pressure this time because it's not my production. It's Cameron Mackintosh's. It's not my show. And yet I'm trying to think of it slightly as the outsider. Who is Nancy going to be? And this is where the contest is going to get so interesting because I reckon that everybody's going to have a completely different view and tomorrow's results show is going to be really interesting. Both of you are very, very very talented. I'm not going to make any single silly jokes about El Bandito. <laughs> oh, 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 did he get retired or was he got chucked? Did he get chucked out? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, that's bad. All isn't right. It? Well, uh, I'm off. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Remember, choose the right girl and a new star is born. Choose the wrong one and it could all end in tears. So use your vote wisely. If you want your favourite to stay, uh, vote when lines open at the end of the show. Not now. Step away from the phone. The numbers you'll need later are 0901 12120. 03 if you think Tara could be Nancy. Or add 04 if you think Ashley should be given a shot at West End fame. So, our first four potential Nancys have sung their pretty little hearts out. Coming up next, it's Amy and Keisha. But first, what's that? Oh, it's the sound of tiny hobnail boots invading the studio as our Olivers take to the stage. Here performing food, glorious food, and with bellyfuls of ambition, please welcome our final 12 Olivers!
going to be very, very hard, but they will have to pick three Olivers for the role. Now, Andrew, just for uh, the record, why are you picking three? Schoolwork. You see, they have to get on with their schoolwork. You're not allowed to employ children in the West End if they're doing it all the time. So they have to alternate. So they'll share the role? Yeah, they share the role. All right. Well, find out who's the first through to our semi-final later as the boys complete their first Oliver task. OK, back to our Nancys. We've seen four stunning performances so far. Let's see if our next two potential leading ladies fit the bill. Meet Amy Booth Steele and Keisha Aponza Banton. <laughs> Nothing like this has ever, ever happened to me before. This girl, Keisha, from Harrow, North West London, is the Nancy that is going to be on the West End stage. I've grown up in just a normal council estate. My mum's cleaner and my dad's a factory worker. And now here I am in the Nancy mansion, like a million bedrooms. My first job was playing Velma in Scooby-Doo. Because of the way I look and because of the way I speak, people look at me and think, oh, she's the kind of kooky sidekick part. We'll put her in for comedy value, you know? <laughs> But now the fact that someone like Andrew Lloyd Webber has seen me perform and think that I can now really shine as the leading lady, it's really lovely. I feel, like, so confident and stuff now. It's brilliant. It's changed my life completely. I'm studying English at Brunel University. People say, why English when, you know, you want to go into musical theatre? There was pressures from my family, especially my mum, to do something which had a job at the end. But, you know, my calling is to perform on stage. Well, I've had to give up so much to do this. So I want to go out there and prove to everyone, especially my mum and all the people that I know and love, that I can do this. I'm talented, I'm driven, and I was meant to be Nancy. Determined to get your votes and see her name up in light, it's Amy Booth Steele. That's a lot of bulbs. The 24-year-old actress in Birmingham is taking on the Aretha Franklin classic, Respect. Closely following her is Keisha Bonza Banson. Even more bulbs. She's hoping to make her bomb proud by performing Noel Coward's Mad About the Boy. Could Amy or Keisha be your Nancy? Here's Amy. Well, it's 
diversity of misery and joy. Different songs, different performances. Obviously, all the girls here believe they could play the role of Nancy. What do you think gives either of you the edge? Uh, wow, Gray. <laughs> um, I think I'm fun, I'm feisty, I'm raw, I'm real, and I want this more than any other girl in the competition. Keisha? I feel, I mean, I'm strong minded, I'm confident, I'm not afraid to speak my mind, and I'm built like this. Oh, <laughs> Let's check in with the panel. Uh, John, uh, obviously, tomorrow night, someone's leaving the competition. Have these girls done enough to stay? I think they have. Uh, Amy, it was a confident performance. It was quirky. It was a little hot. The top end of your voice a little uneasy for me to listen to. Next, if you're here, if you're next, next time, I'd like to see you open up that vocal. Keisha, it was also confident. It was very sexy. It was smooth. But is it too sophisticated to be a Nancy? Mm. Let's see something different next time. Uh, what about you, Barry? Did you get your Fagan's thumbs up? Well, I thought they were great. Um, I think, Keisha, uh, I heard every single word you sang, but then it's the only song that I re recognise. I've never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was beautiful, though. Of course, if Bill Sykes tried to hit you, you'd kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Amy, lovely. Uh, I think you'd be a great comic performer in the musical theatre, apart from anything else. I think you've got a great humour in your work. Uh, Denise, would you be confident to see these girls playing Nancy? Absolutely. Amy, I loved your performance. I thought you gave that song Um Papa. It was fantastic. <laughs> really good. I disagree with the top end of your voice. I really like it. I think it's very strong and, and pitch perfect. It was lovely. Keisha, wow. You're hot. You would send Bill Sykes crazy with desire, and you have the most fantastic, beautiful voice. Well done, girls. Some mixed comments there. Andrew, how did you feel? Well... I think Keisha first, I think you've got the young Shirley Bassey in you. And of course, as long as he needs to be done by Shirley Bassey, it was one of the great definitive versions of the song. Um, so, bravo you. I think what it's kind of showing me, something new actually, um, we're going to have to think about accents. We're going to have to think how everybody sounds, because the Cockney has got to be genuine. We, we don't want Dick Van Dyke. So, we've got to think about that. Amy, I couldn't really tell from that performance about you being Nancy, but you, you sang it well. Great chest boys. Thank you. Okay, well, remember, one Nancy must go home in our results show tomorrow night. No one wants to be first to leave. Call 0901 121 05 if you want Amy to stay out of the sing off, or at 06 if you want Keisha to keep out of danger. Please don't call now. Vote when the line's open at the end of the show. Still to come, we reveal which Oliver is first to go through to our semi-final. But now, let's meet our next potential leading ladies. Two actresses, one from Swansea and one from Belfast, both desperately seeking West End fame and fortune. Meet Francesca Jackson and Rachel Tucker. The buzz you get when you're on that stage is incredible. You know, it's amazing that I, I could have the chance to do this. I come from the Welsh Valleys. I've always wanted to be an actress. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. I have had a couple of lucky breaks already. I did Rod Stewart musical Tonight's the Night and I was understudying Rachel Tucker. It would be nice not to be Rachel's understudy this time around. The best thing that's happened to me was playing Joanne in Rent with Denise Van Outen. It's so much added pressure because I do want people to believe that I'm here on my own merit. It's petrifying that it's a public vote in this you are so exposed for who you are it's me out there and i'm not pretending to be anyone else i'm just me i think the other girls do see me and fran you know as the professionals and they look up to us fran understudied me i had a bit more experience than her and that's all i think it's came down to so she is still massive competition Although I've been trained and, you know, come across polished, I have not lost my rawness. I mean, I come from quite a raw, knees-up family background. Nancy was a, a character that I really could relate to, you know. It's a part that I've always wanted to play. It's in my heart and soul. Mm -hmm. I, I want it more than 
more than anything. First up and ready for battle, it's Francesca Jackson. This Swansea songbird is one of the most experienced girls of the competition and will be singing Hero. Following her is Belfast's Rachel Tucker. She's 26 and got engaged on Valentine's Day. She'll be singing the Sugar Babe Smash about you now. Could Francesca or Rachel be Nancy? Here's Francesca. a hero If you look inside your heart You don't have to be afraid of what you are There's an answer If you reach into your soul And the sorrow that you know Powerhouse performances there. I'm going to go straight to the panel. Uh, Denise, uh, obviously you've worked with Francesca in the past. Could she play Nancy, though? Yes, that is the big question. Could Francesca play Nancy? I have worked with her very briefly. I think it was her first role out of drama school, so she's had a little bit of experience. But I'm looking for a Nancy. Is she right for it? Looking at that performance, I'd say yes. I loved it. I thought it's a very tough song to sing, and I think you sang it well. It was lovely. But hopefully next week, if you're here, I'd like to see something a bit more gritty from you. I want to see the tough Nancy. OK, Rachel, I loved your performance tonight. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> that was the rawness and the roughness and the quality that we're looking for in Nancy, and you gave it to us tonight. It was absolutely brilliant. I've got friends in the East End in London. You'd fit right in down the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and 
and they're here. And John, what do you, what do you think? Francesca, I thought it was a solid performance, but there were some pitch problems on your, t your top notes. Just take a look at that and work on it for next week. But you do deserve to stay in the competition. Uh, Rachel, I really stuck my neck out for you to get you in this competition. You know what? You were fantastic, fantastic, fantastic! Thank you. That was so good. Such a great performance. Uh, jo John thought she was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Barry, were you convinced? I heard that. <laughs> Francesca, very classy performance. I think you've got a great future in the musical theatre. And, uh, uh, Rachel, it was uh, a street urchin. You had the real quality of a street urchin, and you were tough, and you were saucy and beautiful. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. All right. Well, ba ba Barry enjoyed it. What did you think? Well, Francesca and Rachel, you've got the biggest mountain to climb, really, of everybody, because both of you are professional actresses. And I think people are therefore going to think uh, that you're going to deliver more of the finished article than the others. So that's going to count against you a bit. Um, Francesca, I, I thought... I agree with John, I think the intonation a little bit wonky, but I'm not worried about you because I've heard you sing better in rehearsal. And Rachel, to be honest with you, that was really fabulous. Thank really you. fabulous. Oh, OK. But remember, the two least popular Nancys will go head-to-head -head in the dreaded sing-off in our results show tomorrow night. Call 0901 121 07 if you think Francesca could be Nancy, or add 08 if you think Rachel should stay. Keep those numbers safe until lines open at the end of the show. Don't call now as your vote won't count and you could be charged. Coming up, potential leading ladies Samantha, Sarah, Cleo and Neve. But first, let's review the Oliver situation. Each week, our urchins will perform and will be given a special and gruelling task from which Andrew and Cameron will select one boy to go through to our semi-final, where our three winning Olivers will be announced. Oliver must not only be able to sing really sweetly, but also be able to take direction. So, with that in mind, the boys faced their first challenge. The boys have been hard at work, under the watchful eye of Cameron McIntosh, producer of the musical Oliver. Having done Oliver five or six times over the years, I would say the standard is really much greater than we've ever had before. Don't just focus front. Focus up there, yeah, there, there. there. These boys are suddenly taking some big steps forward. Up, Later in the week, it was time for the boys' first task with Andrew. Magic! With Harry Potter's personal magician, Paul Kiev. Now, you may wonder what magic has got to do with Oliver. Well, of course, he has to be pretty nimble-fingered to be in the gang. The boys were taught the noble art of sleight-of-hand magic. But it is magic, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's yeah. a tip. <laughs> you had your hair cut recently because it's really long and bushy, so it might be there. <laughs> don't tell me any of the secrets, will you? No. No, please don't. And then it was time to show off their new skills. As you can see, this spotted handkerchief is spotted. Get <laughs> 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 My name is Chester the Magnificent. <laughs> Merely the magic words. <laughs> Hocus Pocus Dillyocus. Box fall off. Stop. It's great for the pickpockets because if they get caught, they can just change colours. Now I can make this coin disappear. Fantastic. Amazing and wonderful to see them all doing these tricks and it was great fun to see them act. I spoke to Cameron, I spoke to the coaches. We all agree that this is pretty close run. They've all worked hard, but who will take one step closer to being Oliver? Congratulations, you were fantastic, all of you. We've decided that the first person to go through to the semi-finals is Gwion. I'm absolutely amazed. <laughs> I never saw a Christmas note, never. Oh, congratulations, Guillaume. You could officially be Oliver. Well done, sir. Now, tell us, Guillaume, to play, to play Oliver on the West End, what, what would that mean to you, Guillaume? It would mean all the world to me, and I'd be doing it for my family and all of Wales. All of Wales? <laughs> well said. Congratulations to Guillaume, and good luck to all our Olivers for next week. OK, let's meet our next potential Nazis tonight. Samantha Marks and Sarah Lark. Living on the Isle of Man, I always had, like, really big dreams, but 
I didn't quite know how I was going to do it with living here. To be a leading lady in a West End show is everything I've ever wanted. I'm only 17, but I've achieved quite a lot. Made an album over here and I sold 600 copies, which to me was crazy at the time. But I think it's made me a little bit more ambitious. The Alamand's quite a remote place. In a way, it's quite closed off to the world. It doesn't have a West End and you're not going to see Android Webber, you know, walking around. This is my opportunity now and I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to go out there and I definitely think that I could be Nancy. I have five jobs at the moment. I work in a call centre. I volunteer at a theatre. I teach dance, drama and singing. Um, I sell the Evening Standard. Standard! It would be amazing if I could stop the five and just do the one. My fear will always be how young I look. When I was uh, 18, I was playing a 12-year-old in The Witches of Eastwick. When I was 20, I started playing an 8-year-old. When I was 21, I played a 12-year-old again. And this is the first time I have got anywhere near a character that is a woman. Forget the baby face. Think about Sarah Lark, the woman. <laughs> On your marks, marks and locks. First up, it's 17-year-old Samantha. She's the youngest girl in the competition. She'll be singing I Love Rock and Roll. But will you love her? Following her is Sarah Locke. She's officially our smallest Nancy. All four foot 11 inches of her will be singing Get Here. Could Samantha or Sarah be an Nancy? Here's Samantha. That was gorgeous. 
Now, uh, how are you getting on in the Nancy Mansion? Is it, are you sharing? Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah but we have um, quite rough rehearsal days, like quite hard. Um, so it's quite nice to come back to the house and, you know, it's really calm. Yeah, we're roomies, <laughs> which uh, we share a wardrobe. Uh, slightly different. <laughs> slightly different. I think I'm going to try and come in her clothes next week. Yeah, no swapsies. <laughs> All right, let's see what the panel think. Uh, Barry, did you enjoy those performances? Yes, I did, Sarah. But you brought out the cuddly side of Nancy, I thought. Oh, thank you. <laughs> very, very good. Good. And uh, and uh, Samantha makes me want want to live on the Isle of Man. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. uh, mesmerising performance. Congratulations. <laughs> John, obviously two very youthful uh, contenders here. Do they have the maturity? Uh, they do. Samantha, to be that sexy, that talented, and that hot at your age, girls, she might run away with this competition. So be aware. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, vocally, you are like. Honey, and, and you remind me of a younger EP, Elaine Page, but and she also played my daughter in a production once, uh, Sarah did, and uh, I definitely see right now in front of me, not a young girl, leading lady potential. Thank you. Wow. And Denise, you agree? Absolutely. Samantha, I think that was a very strong, confident performance. It was absolutely fantastic. You blew me away. You're hot, Nancy. <laughs> and Sarah, just such a beautiful vocal. It's effortless. It sounds fantastic. And you do something so magical with your eyes. Mm. It's just captivating. It's the Meryl Streep factor, I call it. Oh, right. It's honesty. It's from the heart, and I love so, it. Uh, again, Andrew, really contrasting, really contrasting yeah. performers. Can you see either of them playing Nancy? Yes, I can. Uh, Samantha, just excuse me a moment. Band, when performers are on stage, you don't look at the stage, you look at your music, OK? <laughs> you were terrific. I mean, you really rocked that out. It was wonderful, completely different. And it's such a different performance as well. And completely your own. I loved it. Just think you've got to worry about diction. I didn't hear rope to rope. It is rope to rope, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I didn't quite hear that. Okay. Uh, but you're worrying about your notes more than you worry about your words. Just think about words. I okay. keep saying that. You'll get bored with me through this competition <laughs> saying that. <laughs> All right, well done, both of you. Great job. Remember, your vote could change the course of this competition. Jot these numbers down for later. Call 0901-121-2009 if you think Samantha is destined to be Nancy. Or add 10 if you think Sarah deserves that lucky break. You know the drill. Don't fall now. The vote won't count and you could be charged. Our final two hopefuls this evening are a streetwise London girl and an A-level student from Northern Ireland. Meet Cleo Royer and Neve Perry. I believe that I'm the modern day version of Nancy. Although I'm only 17, I really do believe that I could, I could be Nancy. I live in North West London with my mum and my brother. You know, it's not the best of areas, but you know, at the age of 14, I got through secret school. And having that opportunity, you know, inspired me to go on and help the community and help a lot of young people in the community. She can then go from there to having hope. I do think I'm a street girl like Nancy. I've got a raw edge that I can bring to the character, and I could definitely relate to some of the experiences that she went through. To win this role, it would be out of this world. And I know my family would be extremely proud of me because I'd be the first, you know, member out of the family to have achieved and accomplished this much. When I'm there on Saturday night, I'm just going to be elated watching my daughter on stage. I'm just going to do what I've got to do to be Nancy. I've lived in Bangor since I was born. It's a big step to move away. I cannot believe, I can't even begin to describe just how crazy this past month has been. I mean, a month ago I was sitting right here, ordinary schoolgirl. I think it's both exciting and a bit scary to think that I'm leaving school. I do realise that I'm postponing my A-levels, but it would only be for an opportunity like this that I would, and I have. <laughs> They're putting everything on the line. Up first, it's Cleo Royer. This 22-year-old Brit school graduate will be singing Who Knew by Pink. Following Cleo is another Nancy from Northern Ireland, Neve Perry. She's 17 from Bangor and will be singing The First Cut is the Deepest. Could Cleo or Neve be your Nancy? Let's find out. Here's Cleo. You promised me you'd be around Uh-huh, that's right I took your words and I believed In everything you said to me Uh-huh, that's right Yeah. 
back there longer than a passenger at Terminal 5. <laughs> so, was it more nerve-wracking backstage or waiting to find out you were in the top 12? I think it was more nerve-wracking waiting to be in the final 12. That was an yeah. experience I've never felt before. I completely agree. It was heartbreaking, but with a great result. Don't you agree? OK, <laughs> let's hope that you stay happy. Let's go to the panel. John, have they done enough to stay out of the sing-off? I think they both have. Cleo, first off, you're a raw talent. You have a strong voice. I think you're a little uncomfortable in your skin at, at times. Do you let the nerves get a hold of you? Change that for next time. Neve, vulnerable, concise, and straight to the point with your song and those words. I melt when you sing. I don't know what it is. You win me over, baby. <laughs> Cleo or Neve, do you think they've got that kind of inner fire to bring Nancy? Absolutely. And I think you're a wonderful actress, Cleo. I can see it in that performance that you'll be very good in the dramatic parts in the role. And Neve, you are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. You're going to be famous. There's no question of that. There's something, there's something that's a little bit spooky. A little bit spooky about it. I can see you in a musical version of The Addams Family. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a beautiful... Wednesday, Wednesday. So, Barry, you're new to us. You're new to us. Are you surprised at the standard tonight? Because I think it's I'm been amazed. incredibly high. I mean, what a responsibility to have the careers of these... All of these artists that we've heard tonight are going to go on to great things. Amazing. I have no question of that. Uh, Denise, these two performers. I can solve the spookiness. Neve, you look like a young Bernadette Peters. Shut up. That's Get right. out of here. That's it. She does, That's yeah. It. And you have the special quality that she has. How spooky can you get? So spooky. <laughs> Yeah. Broadway, stars, Broadway yeah. star is the brilliant lady. Yeah. Yeah. Google her. Google her at home if you don't know her. But she's one of my favourite actresses. She's amazing. Um, Cleo, I thought that was fantastic tonight. I think you look very comfortable in your skin uh, performing that. You really acted it, and it's great to see the acting coming through. It's fantastic. So good. So, Andrew. Brilliant. brilliant. Andrew, 
our final two performances at the end of what's been an amazing night, I think. Yes, and Denise is right, and Bernadette Peters starred for me once, and I do see the young Bernadette in you. Gosh, both of you, fantastic. I'm just wondering if I could possibly get out of having to do the decision tomorrow night. I don't really want to have to save anybody. They're all fabulous. It will be miserable, won't it? It is pure horror coming up for me. Uh, but well done, look, both of you, really terrific. Again, so different. And one thing, Neve, I know about you is, is that you're a fantastic actress with words as well. And you acted so well with the song. I thought that was really wonderful. You've come on a huge amount. Yeah. Well done. Well, they've convinced the Lord. That is what Andrew thinks. But remember, you at home are the ones ultimately doing the hiring. Call 0901 121 11 if you think Cleo is the right candidate for the job. Or at 12 if you think Neve deserved that big West End break. The lines are now open. You heard me. Uh-huh. Open now. So get calling to keep your favourite Nancy out of the sing-off. Calls cost 25 cents from a BT landline. Other networks may vary and calls from mobiles will be considerably higher. 14 pence from each call will go to the BBC Performing Arts Fund. Uh, lines close at 9pm tonight. Don't call after that time as your vote won't count and you may be charged. For more details, go to our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Oliver. Here's a reminder of all of tonight's performances with those all-important numbers you need to dial.
one of them will leave the competition. Well done to all of you. Lines are open until 9 p.m. tonight, then they close. Remember, every vote counts. Please choose wisely. Find out which dancing is the first to leave the competition in our results show tomorrow night at 7.30 here on BBC One. Plus, we see our Nancys go cockney in their first ever mission. Like me. A pan of plums to tickle your gums. If you're not fast, you'll last. The show is called I'd Do Anything. And uh, don't miss another special performance for all of us, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you tomorrow night at 7.30. Get voting. They need them.